icon? There, yep. there it is. So, you're due to do the intro. Right, uh, intro. Okay, so this is our behind the scenes. This is off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> our behind the scenes video. And um, we we thought we'd, we'd take you back to the beginning, uh, right when they were doing um, last December. When they were doing it, yeah. they, they had like the final, some of their favorite picks on to Skype. Yeah. And so, we... so uh, you know, I, I know this is a behind the scenes thing. So, let's backtrack a little bit um, until, before we actually get to the studio and when we're on the show. So, the, the way that it worked was month, weeks ago, which is what she's talking about right now, um, we were actually supposed to be on the Talking Dud via Skype along with, uh, I think it was like three other finalists or something. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like sleepy a little um, bit. Yeah, it was, it was a while ago. It was, uh, it was the mid-season. Yeah, so it was, it was the mid-season uh, finale. So it was back in December. And the whole thing was we were supposed to uh, like have our video shown and then we were going to hopefully like be on and you know get to ask a question or something. And I think uh, like one other person got a chance to. And uh, we didn't, and here's why. So we had prepped the entire day uh, to be able to do that, and uh, we're you know in talks with the the producers and everything. We're super excited about it. We were actually in cosplay, uh, which looked weird because we had taken over the whole bottom floor of my house, <laughs> and we're in cosplay the whole time, like eagerly waiting to do this. Two minutes before we were supposed to. Uh, beyond my internet went out <laughs> uh, it, yeah I mean literally my my internet just completely disconnected and the Skype feed like went all all blurry and stuff and I, I thought that maybe it was just like an issue with my computer so I started frantically re restarting my computer and then that didn't work and I tried to like get connect to my phone and all this crap uh, long story short we didn't get on that night and I thought that we had lost our chance to be on the show because I, I had it in my head that like you couldn't possibly win the contest unless you got through that like preliminary round uh, mm. on the thing. So I, I was, she actually handled it way better than I did. I like fell into a deep depressive despair almost immediately and like took my hat off and just like walked outside and stared up at the stars like <laughs> why is this happening? I mean Literally, no exaggeration. yeah, it was just like the timing was so bad. I mean, the internet was perfect all day, and for it to happen like two minutes before it was to go on national TV, eh, a little bit discouraging. It, it, it just wasn't meant to be at that time, but I mean, I knew that that wasn't that was like a preliminary thing, that wasn't the end all be all. So, and and just uh, and by the way, speaking of like behind the scenes, if you go back and watch that episode of Talking Dead. If you can find it, it's online, I believe. Uh, if you go and look at the place where they had the three others, and like there's, and we would have been like the fourth or whatever, you can't even tell that we're missing because like the the staff and producers of Talking Dead are so good at what they do that they like have backup plans in place for if things go wrong. Um, that's like how good they are well, at their jobs. Wait, it's, it's crazy. It's, well, it's funny because Chris was like, "Oh wait, that's it." Oh, and then he goes into, like, a whole other thing. Like, he was anticipating yeah, that we'd be on there, yeah. and then we weren't. I mean, they were just, like, super cool about it, thank God. I mean, they, they were very understanding and kind to us about it. I was expecting them to basically tell us that we were, like, idiots and that we were banned from the show. <laughs> Again, I was pretty pessimistic that we had lost at that point. She was much. She handled it better. She was like, "Oh, don't worry." Don't well, I don't. I don't it. take. I don't take no as an answer. So, yeah. which is why we met in the first place. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, even even that aside, I, I think it was probably good that we weren't. Um, we probably would have lost momentum if we. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. When when the polls first went up, we were already in the top four. Which was amazing, like people, like the fan response, like having yeah, and not thank been you on... all, everybody who voted for us, by the way. Yeah, well, I mean, well, we hadn't been seen at all or featured at all on the show, but we were already in the top four because people just like the story or us or whatever. And uh, speaking of, of thank yous, and, I'm, and I know I'm going to forget some names, but Jax and Marzi and especially Susie Bowman, oh my God, she can rally some troops. That... 
she was single-handedly like the best and biggest cheerleader that we could have possibly have had and she went to every like any outlet that was like Rashawn related she got the word out on voting and every day did these roll calls and she inspired other people to come on board uh like like marzi so um and 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 so many other people like they they voted in shifts and until their fingers went numb and he kept it going for however many months that the competition went on um so like i didn't i was like i was so happy to be in the top four and then we just kept going up and up and up and and that was like it was insane because we hadn't been featured on, on the show at all yeah. at that point i, so I that thought i thought it was over just because of that the fact that we were not going to get you know any kind of tv yeah. exposure and help and in, in the well the the fans rankings. in general liked us but then i i believe i feel that the Rochelle fandom pushed us over that edge to get yeah. us to number one and even though we lost number one towards the end we were number one like we had the longest run of being in the number one spot so, um, just, you know, from, from a proportion standpoint, like, that was amazing in and of itself. So, I want, you know, thank you guys profusely for, for keeping it up and not letting the votes go down. Like, you guys are amazing. Um, and, and thank you for, to Talking Dad and Chris Hardwick and, and our producer who was working with us, like, very closely throughout the whole thing, who didn't lose faith in us after... That horrible technical error that just uh, is just really bad luck. Thanks for being so cool about that and not um, like immediately deciding that <laughs> we would lose. Um, right behind the scenes. Um, uh, I think we were getting the comment, the comment thing. Uh, the uh, the things about the uh, of addressing some comments. <laughs> oh right. Okay. So yeah. Um, being actually on the show, um, so clearly he was working my nerves, and I was like, I don't want to sit next to him, I don't want to look at him, I, I'm just sitting <laughs> this dude, like, I gotta sit here and smile for the cameras. Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah. I was wearing a dress, and the camera happened to be dead on to where I was sitting, yeah. so I had to sit a certain way to make sure all the goods, you know, stayed, you know, good. And, uh, <laughs> we had a, a producer came over to us right before they start started shooting and basically told Jill to not flash the camera, and uh, which I never would have done. And basically that you know they were worried that she might accidentally flash the camera if she didn't turn her legs to the left towards Chris. Well, and, and not only that, Chris is facing right. in the opposite direction yeah. of where he was sitting. It would have looked very weird if she had like moved her legs to the right towards me and essentially just turned it back my, on Chris. Or just crane uh, my neck around the whole time to talk to Chris. That, that would have been strange. That would have looked very, very strange. So that, that was the reason why. And, um, yeah. And, uh, you know, I didn't feel the need to, to grope Jill on the, uh, couch. Although I thought about it a couple <laughs> times. Yeah. So, uh, all is well. We did not break up right before the show. Um, or, or at all. At all. Yeah, I don't I don't really understand why people said that, but it, it's all as well. So nothing to worry about. Uh, I think those were like the main ones. And, I feel like there's another one that we're and, no, we're not we're not engaged. Uh, no, we're not engaged. He's put nothing on lock. It's no. not on lock without that rock guys. Yeah, I I have yeah. not hired Chris Hardwick to marry us yet. He will be our zombie minister. What if we if that ever happens. But he has not been hired as of yet. Can't he just cosplay as like Father Gabriel as opposed to? Oh, that's a great idea! Holy shit, <laughs> that's a great idea. See how it's genius right here, genius creative mind. Thank you. Uh, what else? I think it, so. Behind the scenes, um, they were all lovely. Yeah. Uh, just you know, Lana, Alana, Alana, and Lauren. They, everybody came by our dressing room like beforehand and introduced themselves and made us feel super comfortable. Well, not Lauren. Lauren didn't actually know who we were at first, which was so yeah. like funny. I can't remember. And then she was, oh no, 
I don't blame her for. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying it was just. It was just funny. Like, <laughs> I, who are they? Yeah, I, I think like uh, she thought that we were just like random. Sta- like maybe like entourage. stand. Yeah, stand-ins or something. I don't know. We we were standing like about to go onto the the stage and. Um, she was so engaged in the story, like she wanted to know everything, and mm-hmm. like after you know, she she realized it because she knew that the ultimate fans were going to be on. She just didn't know like who the ultimate fans were, and yeah. she like figured out that she's you know. She's, well, Lana was like, uh, she put it together. She's like, oh, you guys are the ultimate fans, and she was super cool. She like made us feel really comfortable and like told us oh, some tips so on what sweet. to do on the the couch, which like I needed because I was super nervous. And, uh, well, you know, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, everybody was just like super cool and like really helped make the, um, whole experience kind of seamless and, and as not stressful as possible because I was starting to freak out like a couple minutes beforehand because I was I just like kind of hit me all of a sudden, like, oh my God, are? we're, we're going to be on TV in front of like 5 million people. I don't remember minutes. that cause I was too nervous to like. Uh, I was trying, I was, I think I did a good job of not showing it, but I was definitely worried about like, you know, jumbling my words or stuttering or like just not being able to come up with a good answer to a question or something. All the normal things that you expect right before you're about to go on national TV for the first time. Um, uh, there may have been some drinks. They, they did a good, we, we had a drink before we went on stage. Um, just one. Actually, I think you had half I, of a drink. I had half of a drink. I, I, I had, didn't trust myself. I had a full drink. And I'm glad I have that drink. <laughs> I think that drink uh, did does some good. But uh, yeah, everybody just made the whole experience way smooth and easy, and it, it felt um, it it felt like really natural after the first segment. We kind of like got to know what was going on and feel comfortable. And I'm like, okay, now I can do this. Now I can do this. I, I didn't anymore. even know you were. I was I was too wrapped up in my own nervousness to know. It's like you seemed very cool to me, or one of us had to at least pretend to be cool. I think I looked. I, was that guy. I, I think I looked a lot more cool on camera than I was probably feeling inside. I was I was starting to well, freak out there. Well, well, well here's here's a, a funny thing. It, um, we were <laughs> we were our own stand-ins uh, <laughs> for lighting, so that was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Like. And I've done stand-in work before, so it was really fun to play myself this time. Yeah, I, I had not. I mean, for me, I had never even been in a TV studio before. So, like, I was asking probably really dumb questions and, like, kind of geeking out on, like, oh, no. things like, you know, I, I was, like, amazed by how many lights there were and how many cameras there were and all this stuff that they were just kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's and how I, it's done. And that's, <laughs> it's, that's definitely something I've taken you for noob. granted because I've, I've done, like, a lot of again like a lot of extra work and stuff and so that wasn't really like uh, for, yeah. for me like i've been on a lot of sets but um I, I didn't even know what like a teleprompter looked like like i was like thought that was cool so fun. i'm like oh it's that thing with the words on it that chris reads that's so cool and everybody's like okay dude <laughs> <laughs> well you're not i mean a lot of people haven't been on the set like i've never really thought too much about it I've, you know because I've, I've had that experience so many times but I could, I can definitely see. I mean, the average person hasn't been on the set, yeah. so I mean, you know, no, not at all. Yeah. It's, it's kind of. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to remember the first time I ever went on a set, and I, and I couldn't tell you what it was. But it's, it's a wondrous feeling, like just being in that it's environment, pretty, pretty all crazy. the lights. Yeah. And, you know, I tried not to look at the audience too much when, when we were actually doing the show. Like, yeah. I could see like the first two rows, and I'm, I'm like, really glad that. You know, the way it's set up with any talk show, I guess, is, you know, you're faced towards the host. Mm-hmm. Um, because, like, I'm not a good public speaker, I don't think. I, I'm very, I tend to freak out when there's, like, a lot of people looking at me and I see their faces. Something about that's, like, really freaky to me. So, with this, I was able to just, like, focus on Chris and focus on, like, whoever it was that was answering a question. Um, and, like, I never really had to look over at the audience because the audience was, like, way scarier to me than, like, anything that was going on on the set. As bizarre as that sounds, I kind of pretended like the audience wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't have to look in their direction, so I'm sure that probably helped. Yeah. Um, I remember looking, seeing your mom a couple of times. Yeah, my mom was in the audience. She was super stoked to be there, and... It was, uh, it was just, it was fun. It was a great experience, honestly. I couldn't, I really couldn't I'd have do it asked. Again. I Yeah, I could not have asked for it to, like, go any better. I feel like, um, it, it just went really, really well. Um, 
I, I have to apologize. I didn't get a chance to ask about or make any kind of comment or reference to the photo shoots that were shown. I do apologize. I feel like I kind of failed you in that respect. But um, there's always Comic Con. Like, oh, know? Comic Con's going to be so crazy. Yeah, we have. A, there's a few plans for that. But we're not going to tell you no, right now. Not gonna, or, no. No. So. Oh, um. Anyone out there who goes to cons, I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be at C2E2 in Chicago in a few weeks. So um, if you see me around, I'll. It, if you see a Michonne, it's if it, it's likely it's me. If you, if you see I, a really tall Michonne who's like eight feet tall, it's her. What seriously? Come on. She's only six feet tall. Not not. <laughs> um, yeah, and that was me at WonderCon as well. So. I, got to meet a lot of people and uh, that was a really wonderful experience as well and um, there were a few people who were uncertain if it was really me that yes that was really me uh, all this weekend there's other time. there's other six foot machines wandering around. well some people were really concerned like I don't want to ask her like and, you know it was kind of funny they didn't want to assume it was me but it, yeah that was me so I actually had a really bizarre experience yesterday. Uh, I was downtown in San Diego for a friend's birthday, and I got recognized, like, in my normal clothes at a random bar. And uh, my friends had, you know, just a blast videotaping that whole experience because, like, you know, they were all joking, like, oh, he's a celebrity now, he's going to get, you know, recognized. And I'm like, nah, whatever. And then... Somebody very nice came up to me and said that they recognized me and whatnot. And oh. I was like, oh, wow. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Okay, so I can't remember if someone had asked us or brought this up. So, yeah, I'm 5'11", 5'11 and a half. He's... I'm 6'6". Six six. Well, 6'5 and, and a half. 6'5 six and a half. You're 6'6 six six and a half. No, I'm 6'5 and a half, but when you put the boots on, I'm, like, almost 7 feet tall because the boots have, like, an inch and a quarter yeetle. So, and then the hat on so top of it. Right now. And yeah. then the hat, too, that's like makes me like seven feet tall. Alright, so let's. Okay, so he's 6'6. Six, six. So if you see a super tall. Anyway, I was wearing heels on the show. Like. So, yeah, that's the, just to give you kind of a, a range of how tall we actually are. How tall. Yes. We are that tall. Because people. Some people were curious about that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're a couple of tall folks. He's much more tall than I am, obviously. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Any other behind the scenes? Um, I mean, like, I feel like the details of, like, actually getting there and all that stuff, you know, that's, that's just kind of boring. I mean, we, you know, we got to the studio and they got us lunch. It was free lunch. It was really nice. Oh, fuck that. They got us the four seasons. I, I took, I took a video, uh, not a video, but I took, like, a lot of photos of her getting her makeup done. She got really mad at me because I was doing that. Um, Why are you talking about this right now? I and I thought that I don't know because it's because it's funny. Uh, <laughs> hey, your your wine is over there. You chose not to Shut have up. it. Um, <laughs> I I just man I you know I always say that like I am so glad that I don't have to put makeup on every day. Uh, That's not average that, that makeup. Feeling that was, was TV makeup. I know, but still, I was just like, man, because mm -hmm. my makeup took like five seconds. You know, like our makeup lady was a a pro, and I'm a dude, so she was just like, ah, a little airbrush, and yeah, you're done. Um, it's not that simple for women. Why are we talking about this though? Seriously. They wanted they wanted behind the scenes. That's not no behind the scenes is. You know, I had a, a bunch of outfits, and ultimately he chose the one that I that I wore, yeah, the I blue did. dress. Yeah, like that's a that. that's a fun mind. Like you're talking about things people don't. People don't Are you about. sure you just don't want to talk about the I, makeup well, situation? I think it's a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both. I don't think that they need to know about the makeup situation. Oh, oh, um, but Meredith did a fabulous job. I would so I'd hire her in a hot second oh, if yeah. I could afford it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys know, you go on TV, they put special stuff, stuff on, on you. Yeah. Oh, but the wardrobe was mine. Like, they didn't supply wardrobe. That was, those are my clothes, those are my shoes, the, that was my hair. I don't, I don't know. Those were not my lashes, though. I will, I will say that. So. But they, didn't they look good, though? Uh -huh. Yeah, they did, did not survive the night. Yeah. Which, that's, I feel like I could have phrased that differently. Anyway... Yeah. Um, any other behind the scenes? 
<laughs> uh, that's that's all that's coming to mind right now. So um, if you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. And also, we should probably ask them to follow us on Instagram at RL Rashawn, because duh. Rashawn. Um, and also, we'll yeah. We'll put we'll put links um, in the com in the uh, the notes of this thing of all our social media stuff to follow us on. So. Yeah, we'll we'll leave links, but also leave us questions that you might have. We'll we'll we'll. we'll Okay, we're Sorry, it's like one in the morning. Yeah, we're like just we're now recording this, yeah. and so we're yeah. Well, I, I promised we would do one today. I promise, and I'm gonna come through. Obviously, yeah. Um, yeah. Any questions that you have, please drop them in the comments. And also, we're probably going to watch over the summer. Um, not probably. We're gonna do. We'll do commentaries well, on better calls. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing yet, but we're gonna cover other things. To be announced. To be announced. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's it for this one. And we're going to go uh, right into our next video, which will be a commentary on tonight's season finale. So, we'll see you in a bit. Cool.